Well, today we have a very, very important message from Blizzard, and this message is for all Mythic Plus players. The TLDR of this message is that now in Dragonflight, Mythic Plus players will be stronger, will have better item level and more chances at getting this better item level than Mythic Raiders. How did this happen? What, what has changed to make this happen in Dragonflight? So what you're seeing in front of you is what Blizzard had planned for Dragonflight until at least a couple of days ago. This was the level of rewards you were going to get from Mythic Plus. You were going to get your end of the run extended all the way up to plus 18 as the max reward, no longer plus 15 like in Shadowlands, but at plus 18, which was at the same item level as the first half of the heroic bosses, as opposed to in Shadowlands, which is three item levels lower than heroic bosses. And then you could upgrade that gear with Valor and that upgrade would be slightly better even or one item level better than the last heroic bosses, just like it is now in Shadowlands. The Great Vault was a similar improvement. The Great Vault was going to be three item levels higher than the first half of the mythic bosses, whereas now in Shadowlands the Great Vault is 304 item level from mythic plus, which is the exact same item level as the mythic bosses, the mythic loot, besides the last ones, the, the last few bosses with increased item level. This was what it was, until Blizzard hit us with this announcement. The announcement which covers other things in Mythic Plus, other things we have covered before, like for example the removal of Inspiring and Necrotic, so now the affix rotation will just be 10 weeks long, with 10 different combination of affixes, the fact that, for example, the new affix, the new seasonal affix that will take place called Thundering will be more simple and more laid back than previous affixes because we have to learn the new dungeons in season one. So they didn't want to have a too much of a complicated new affix, new mechanic into the Mythic Plus system and also without giving too much power to you. This is perhaps the one where players will complain about the most, the positive effects you were gaining from the affix every season. Blizzard is pointing out they are reining in the power increase you get from this affix in Dragonflight. But then they also announced the increase in item level. Not just the increase all the way up to plus 18, there is going to be a further one all the way up to plus 20. Also, there is going to be an increase in the tiers of Valor upgrades. So take this picture and then increase three item levels from the Valor upgrades and then increase three item levels from the Great Vault. That ends up looking like this. So this is what you will be able to loot in Dragonflight when it comes to Mythic+. Plus. So the plus 20 Great Vault will be the equivalent of Mythic Boss 5 and Mythic Boss 6, the 5th and 6th boss. So basically you will be able to get from the Great Vault better gear than any other Mythic boss except for the last two. And you could say this is kind of like it is now in Shadowlands. In Shadowlands already the Great Vault from Mythic Plus gives you gear equal to Mythic Raiding except for the last few bosses. The difference of course is that here in Dragonflight you're going to have three different tiers of item levels when it comes to raid bosses and also the difference is that the gap in Shadowlands is from 304 to 311, so it's a seven item level gap. Meanwhile, in Dragonflight, the item level gap is between 421 and 424. It's just a three, a measly three item level gap that you are missing out on. So unlike Shadowlands, you're missing out on less than half of the item level that you're missing out nowadays in Shadowlands. If you are a Mythic Plus only player, never killing the Jailer or never killing uh, the Natrius, Stone Legion Generals and all of those bosses with increased item level. And then you have, of course, the improvement of the Valor upgrades, because now in Dragonflight, the Valor upgrades are now going to go all the way up to 415 item level, which is the exact item level of the first half of the bosses in Mythic. It's as if right now, right now in Shadowlands, you could take your 288 loot from Mythic Plus and upgrade it not to 298, but to 304, just like Mythic raid loot, essentially. 
this will create a situation this will create a situation where after 16 weeks after 16 weeks of the great vault where you get as a mythic plus player your loot every week your great vault your plus 20 great vault loot every week you will be able to deck yourself out completely in 421 gear meanwhile if you're raiding if you are a raid only player and not a mythic plus only player after 16 weeks of the great vault the average item level from the bosses number 1 through 4, which drop 415, the bosses number 5 and 6, which drop 421, and the bosses 7 and 8, which drop 424, the average item level will be 419. So you will be, on average, two item levels lower than the Mythic Plus only players and their Great Vault. There is only a particular wildcard in this system, which is the unique drops. In case you have forgotten or in case you were confused by this middle column here pointing out the unique heroic and the unique mythic, what does that mean? Every boss will have one item which will be selected to be six to seven item levels higher than the rest of the loot table. This is not RNG, this is not Titan Forging, the item will be predetermined, so you can already know which items those are going to be. For example, in the last couple of bosses, you have a Mastery Ring and a Hunter Bow with increased item level. So, except for those very few items, six or seven items that will be able to have a higher item level increase, except for those, the average item level you will get from the raid will be lower than the average item level you will be able to get from Mythic Plus. Now, <laughs> this brings a couple of questions. Number one, of course, there is the question of the Valor Cap. Now, Blizzard gave us an entire wall of text about Mythic Plus, but didn't really mention anything specific about Valor. Besides, of course, pointing out that there is going to be an additional Valor upgrade tier and your Mythic Plus rating required to unlock all of these tiers. Besides that, we still don't know how much stuff is going to cost. Of course, many of you might have forgotten, you know, while you were enjoying Season 4 and the complete lack of any Valor cap every week, well, don't forget that Season 3, a serious uh, season, did have a Valor cap. So, that season was also limiting quite a lot how much and how fast you were able to upgrade all of these Mythic Plus items. Because, for example, for a two-handed weapon, it would have taken you a full month. A full month just to upgrade a two-handed weapon. And even for something smaller, but still quite big like a chest piece, it would have taken you two weeks. Slightly more, actually, than two weeks to upgrade a chest. From the base item level of Mythic Plus all the way to the max Valor upgrade level so now technically you can say that mythic plus awards higher item level loot than mythic raiding on average but this is still going to be gated quite heavily by valor and simply by how often you will have enough valor points to upgrade all of those pieces of gear also there is another point we haven't mentioned which is the catalyst of course <laughs> in season four again you might have forgotten that the catalyst used to be locked in season 3 for 6 weeks before you actually were able to start transforming pieces in your catalyst and that's again something that is coming back in Dragonflight. In the first season of Dragonflight for the first 6 weeks of the patch you won't be able to turn your pieces from Mythic Plus loot into tier pieces. You will have to wait 6 weeks while someone who raids can just loot them normally. One thing that remains in Dragonflight is the chance from your PvP and from your Mythic Plus Vault to be awarded tier pieces. That is still there, okay? The Catalyst not being able to transform stuff is not going to stop you from lacking out, essentially, and getting offered a tier piece from your Great Vault. That's still gonna be there. However, one thing worth mentioning, in case you start to get the wrong idea, is that with this increase in item level, Mythic Plus is also being made harder, okay? There is going to be, as soon as you get past the plus 10 level, so from Mythic Plus 11 onwards, the scaling of the health and damage of mobs is going to increase from 8% per level to 10% per level. And don't forget that the first season of a new expansion, the max level keys are still much lower. Don't compare what you see now. Don't compare seeing, you know, plus 20 keys being 
relatively very easy compared to uh, people who clear plus 30 keys for example back in season one clearing plus 20 keys was very very difficult even in shadowlands during castonatria so making plus 20 the cutoff to get this type of high level gear is definitely not going to be a joke it's not going to be something that you can just casually stroll into which is expected right it's going to give you gear similar to the mid to high end level of mythic raid bosses so you want it to be quite quite challenging to achieve even in a mythic plus setting so after very long after very long complaining and very long wishing for many mythic plus players i believe that what we got here is possibly the closest the closest you will ever get to achieve parity to achieve equal grounds with mythic raid loot as I said, if we actually look at this objectively, the average item level you will get from Mythic Plus will just be higher than the average item level you will get from the raid. Of course, there are still something that Mythic Raid players will be able to get above Mythic Plus, like for example trinkets, right? Raid trinkets that can be very often very powerful, or things like tier set, easier to achieve, easier to obtain for Mythic Raid players compared to Mythic Plus players. We still don't know the exact numbers, but perhaps getting the materials and the reagents for Mythic Raid quality crafted loot will be easier in the raid than it will be in Mythic Plus. So while there might still be some advantages in the raid loot, so to speak, it's definitely going to be much closer and certainly closer than ever when we look at the chances for you to get very good high quality gear from Mythic Plus. The Great Vault of Mythic Plus now being better than 80% of the bosses from Mythic Raids and the normal gear you loot from a Mythic Plus key being upgradable with Valor at the same level as 50% of all of the Mythic Raid bosses is definitely a significant improvement compared to what we had in Shadowlands and even before that BFA and Legion. Effectively, this is a net six item level increase compared to what the average of the Mythic Plus player was in Shadowlands. In Dragonflight, you will be roughly six item levels higher than before. So this is what we have for today. This massive, this massive change when it comes to the Mythic Plus ecosystem for Dragonflight. As we said, Blizzard was pointing out a few other things like the shorter rotation of the season, like the fact that Mythic Plus to compensate will be slightly harder in the difficulty of keys or the fact that the seasonal affix will be not giving you the same buffs like we have gotten before and the fact that it will be a little bit simpler to ease the player base into all of the new dungeons for the first season but definitely the star the main point of today was of course the change the significant change in the way and in the quality of the gear that will drop from mythic plus so let me guys know what you think about this if you have finally been vindicated and you see your wish of being a mythic plus only player finally becoming true in dragonflight not being forced to supplement your your mythic plus hobby with also having to raid if you want the the best loot or if you still think that's not quite enough and you would like something else to be added to this new help to all of mythic plus players or if you're perfectly happy with these new set of changes for mythic plus now with this being said of course as usual uh, thank you to everyone supporting me on patreon you're helping me a lot to continuing to produce content for wow as we get deeper into the beta and we can continue to report on these very very interesting changes that are soon to come for dragonflight of course for further support and this one is totally free you can like and comment down below as well as subscribe to this channel last i've heard it doesn't cost any money yet and lastly for more social interactions you can follow me on twitter as well as as a last point subscribing to my patreon right down at these two links with this being said and done, thank you guys again for watching, see you guys soon, and in the meantime, in the meantime, this is the second video I made, because after I finished the first one, right on with the Blizzard statements about completely changing the item level of Mythic Plus, so I guess we go again.